Hey guys, right now we are loading all of our messages uh, for the channel right away. So if we have a ton of messages, it could take a really long time. I look at the scroll bar, I added a ton of messages, and this will not scale at all. As we have thousands and thousands of messages and more people are chatting, uh, it's just going to grow. And if we are loading them all on the initial load, it will not scale at all. So we're going to change that and incrementally load the messages. And really a lot of the time you only need to see the messages, the most recent messages. And then you might just need to scroll up a little bit. So there's really no reason to load these messages at the very top anyway that are from years ago. So that's what we're going to do today is add pagination. So we're just incrementally loading the messages and not loading them all at once. Now before we get into that, I accidentally broke public channels. Um, this is me creating a channel. And you notice it says missing field uh, direct message or DM. And that's because in our ad channel modal, in our optimistic response, um, we did not know DM existed because we just added that. So now we have to say DM is false because we're not doing a direct message channel in our, uh, we know this because we're in our ad channel modal. We can only do DM channels from our direct message modal. And then this is only for the optimistic response that fixed the first warning. The second warning is because our create channel does not have a uh, direct message field in it. And that's because we're not selecting that field. Here's our create channel mutation. We just need to grab DM. And then we can close that because that should solve our issue. Um, let's add our channel, create another public one, pub2. And pub2 is good to go. All right. Now let's start on our pagination. The first thing I'm gonna do is limit how many messages we're loading at first. So this is in our message resolver. And here's our messages query. And I'm gonna just set a limit. So we're only gonna say, I don't know, 35. This is something number you can play with, see uh, what works well for you. And you can either hard code it like I am, or if you want to, you can pass this in as a parameter uh, to your query. So now we should get a much smaller scroll bar if we refresh the page. Perfect. And we have a good amount of messages, but not too many. So now I want to be able to load more, right? As I get more, uh, let's say I get to the top and I want to see further back. So at first we are going to add a button and we're then going to add three different types of pagination. So today we're going to be using a button because that's very simple. So I'm just gonna add a button to the top here. And right now we're gonna just say on click is gonna be load more. And for now I'm just gonna console log load more. And this button is cr coming from semantic UI. So today we're just gonna use a button and we're gonna do uh, the simplest um, pagination and that is with cursor or not cursors uh, offset and limit and then next time we're going to be doing cursors and then we're going to do infinite scrolling where I can just scroll up and it'll just keep loading so you can kind of see the different ways you can uh, accomplish the same thing and see which one you like the best to use in your projects okay so perfect we only see the load more button as we get to the top so how are we actually gonna load more items? Well, here's how Apollo recommends doing that. There is a fetch more function that they give to us where we can pass in new variables, for example, an offset, and then we can update the query afterwards. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So for us, we wanna keep track of the current position. Um, and we could either, in our state up here, keep um, the cursor position, or the offset position, I mean, or we could just get the length of the items, and that totally works, too. So I think I'm gonna do it based on the items. So let's change this here. So here I wanna run this.props.data.fetchmore. So this is the function that's coming from GraphQL, and we're gonna be fetching more 
of this query of our down here I believe yep of our messages query now we actually need to change our query to allow us to pass in an offset so I'm gonna say offset is an int and offset takes the offset parameter uh, and now at first the offset is going to be zero so offset zero and we need to change our back end to allow us to pass an offset and now I'm doing variables wrong here we need to pass it right here props is in the options so like that and we can get rid of that give that a save okay cool so we're passing in the channel ID and the offset of zero so that'll get the first chunk and then variables policy this all looks good and then up here in our fetch more we're just going to basically change the offset of that what we're fetching so variables and our offset is going to differ now let's go to our schema though and get that working so here we go so our messages schema we want now want to take an offset which is an integer and in our resolvers, oops, in our resolvers over here, I now have offset. And offset, you can actually directly pass in to uh, find all. It's expecting an offset, and that's just how how many items uh, ahead it's going to grab. So we're limiting to thirty, and then we can grab more further up in the list if we want to. So. We want to keep the same channel ID, so that's going to be this.props.channel ID. And then here we're going to add a uh, offset. And this is going to be the length of our data. So this.props.data. Actually, not, yeah, it's data dot and it's messages. Yeah. There we go. So that's how many messages we have. So if we have five messages, then we'd like to get the fifth message onward and so forth. So we want to say dot length. And we might need to do plus or minus one to this. I believe it should work just like that though. But we'll see if we get any problems with key errors. Okay, so now we have to do this update query. So let's copy that. So how this works is it takes the previous result and what we fetched and combines them together. So here we're saying if we didn't get any more results, we just return. Otherwise, they are returning them combined. And save that. Okay, so how are we combining ours? Well, it's quite easy. We're gonna keep the previous result, all the stuff it had in it, and then messages is gonna be equal to our array of previous messages. And then we're just going to add in the new messages we just fetched. So fetch more result dot messages. And that's it. So let's take a look at this and see how we did. And did I mess something up? Oh, that should be a semicolon, not a comma. Okay, so I scroll up to the top. Our last message up here is hey. Click load more. And now I see Timo head, and I can go up further, and I can just load more, and I can load more, and this looks like it's working okay. I can load more. Oh, whoa, nothing's happening anymore. So we'll eventually get to a point where we can't load any more items. So what we need to do is not show this little button, right? Because we don't want them to spam us. So one way to do this is to just set in our state. State and keep a variable for this. So has more items is going to be equal to true. And so we only want to show our button if this.state dot has more items. Otherwise, we don't want to show our button.
Okay, so we have fetch more and how are we gonna know whether we've reached the end of our list? Well, we're fetching in increments of 35. So if fetch more result is less than 35, we're in, we know we're at the end. So we can just say if fetch more results dot message dot length is less than 35, we are gonna not return anything, but set the state. This dot set state, and we're gonna say, what is our, what do we call it? Has more items, has more items is false. So how this works is, I'm gonna be fetching in increments of 35, right? I'll get 35, then I'll get 35, and then when I reach the end of my list, I might only have 23 left, and then I'll be fetching zeros after that, right? I can wait till I uh, fetch zero. If I don't know how many, like how what are my increments of fetching are, then I could just say 35, 35, 23, wait for the zero to hit, and say when this is equal to zero, like that. But this works a little bit better because we can anticipate we're at the end of the list earlier. And also that's something you can add to the server side portion for you to return back when you're at the end of the list. So we'll load more. Uh, this should be messages. When you're at the end of the list, your server knows and you can pass that back by using, for example, count or something. Okay, so load more, load even more, and bam. Now we don't see the load more button anymore. Perfect, so we know we loaded all of our messages. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. There is one little annoying thing going on. I don't know if you guys noticed that. When I load more, it bounces the scroll bar to the very bottom. I'm actually not sure, quite sure how to fix that for this. I don't know if we have to automatically move the scroll bar up or what, but this gives you an idea of how you can add offset pagination. This is the easiest way to do it. Um, in the next video, we'll be doing cursor-based, which has better performance, but it is a little bit more involved to uh, set up. Not too bad, but you saw how easy it was to do offset and limit. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.